time ever, the Food and Drug Administration has fully approved a new drug that fights against Alzheimer's. It's called Lakimbi, and it's the first drug that's shown to slow down the progression of the disease. As of this year, about 6.7 million Americans aged 65 and older currently live with Alzheimer's dementia. That's according to the Alzheimer's Association, and the number is quickly growing. Joining us live right now is the VP of Programs with the Alzheimer's Association for Upstate New York, Amanda Nobrega. Appreciate you coming in here. Um, th this is, uh, it's a headline thing, right? Yes. And then I want to go beyond that. What should people know about um, the trials and all the work that's done and then now to have FDA approval for this drug? Yeah, this is an incredibly exciting time. So thank you for having me yep. on to talk about this. Um, Lakembi is the first traditionally approved drug for Alzheimer's disease that actually addresses the underlying biology of the disease, the progression of the disease. Um, so this is really important for individuals living with a disease, their families, their friends, their caregivers, because it allows people more time in the early stage of disease where they can remain more independent and engage in activities that bring them joy. So this is truly a momentous uh, time in, in Alzheimer's disease field. It is such a cruel disease, and we showed the numbers there. I mean, millions of, of people living with this. Um, mm -hmm. Who is really the target for this medication? Who, who, who would best be to take it? Yeah, that's a great question. This medication is specifically for individuals who are living with mild cognitive impairment or early Alzheimer's disease. Um, individuals need to show that they have elevated beta amyloid plaques in the brain. That's what this medication targets. Mm. Um, and the medication, you know, in terms of benefit can help people, again, live in that earlier stage of the disease, staving off progression for a little bit of time, giving them more time to enjoy activities, family, friends. So in, in terms of who's eligible for it, you kind of said there who it's geared toward. What about the, the cost of it, the availability? I mean, is this something that's just kind of mass produced right away and, and people can start taking advantage of it? Yeah, so we have good news. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid um, have agreed that due to the traditional approval that Medicare will cover a portion of the cost of the drug. I would recommend that if individuals are noticing symptoms in themselves, having concerns about memory or cognitive function, go to your doctor don't delay because these drugs again are most effective in the early stage of the disease that's who this is for individuals with mild cognitive impairment or early dementia so talking to your health care provider about the benefits the risks if it's a right drug for you and then um, working with your insurance provider if you have Medicare calling specifically the plan and figuring out what the cost will be um, I've got about 30 seconds left, but in addition to this, I know there's a lot of other research that's happening right now, uh, maybe for people who don't fall into this category mm -hmm. where this medication can help, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so actually next week, um, our Alzheimer's Association International Conference is taking place in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. and that's where uh, researchers across the globe come together to share about latest advancements in the science. And we do have a number of therapeutics in the pipeline that target different aspects of the disease. So it's all really exciting. You can find out more at our website, alz.org backslash research. Awesome. Um, we needed some good news today. So yeah. thank, you, thank you for sharing it thank with you us. For we appreciate me. it. Amanda Nobrega, Vice President of Programs for Upstate New York for the Alzheimer's Association. Thank you. Thank you.